So today I want to build an interesting setup in the node grid, which will be a sort of a multi-tap delay, but for notes and not for audio. And it will give us some control, of course, over the notes in each tap. Now it looks a bit like this. As you can see, there are four taps. We can uh, change the time, change the probability per tap, and also transpose things. And again, this will work on the notes themselves and not on the audio. This is very much inspired by a VCV module called Note Echo, and also the echo effect in Bitwig, but this setup gives us a bit more control similar to the VCV module. Now I added also the ideas from this video to the PDF of tips and tricks I keep on updating, so if you are interested it's available on my Patreon together with the project file from this video and from other videos on this channel. And again, we will be using the node grid today. What I have until now is the polysynth. It's set to polyphony of eight voices. And I have some notes here programmed with the probability. Right, as you can see, let me play this. Right, so it's a simple sequence. And this technique is quite interesting when using sequences that are either not too dense or have some notes with probability in them, just like I have here. Right, so let's go back to the note grid. Now, I will also mention that the note grid is set to monophonic, and it's also not running when stopped. Now, let's create the first delay line. So we will use the note, the long delay, sorry, and we will need it actually twice Right, so once for pitch or gates, let's start with the gates, and once for pitch, right, and then I will use again from the output once the gates, once the pitch, and we will need another note out module, this one here doesn't have to be big, and again we have once the gates and once the pitch, so now if I play this we will have once the original sequence, and then once a version of it delayed. Right, and I can change the delay time. And now let's quickly duplicate this. Right, so we will have this three more times. So one, two, and three. So we'll have four taps all in all. And since we are building a multi-tap delay, we need to cascade the delays. For now, the signal for all the delays is coming from the main output here, from the main sequence but this is no, not how we should have this, right? So we have the first tap, the second tap will receive the signal from the first one, right? So this will be delayed by this amount, and then the second tap will be delayed by the same amount plus this amount, right? They are cascading, and like this, we have to continue cascading them through the different taps. Right, so now we have a four tap delay, but for the sequence for the pitch and not for the audio. Let me take this a bit down. Right, so now I can change also the delay times, maybe something like this. Right, so now we have a four tap delay for the notes and we can have some fun with this. For example, we can add a pitch shifter for each tap um, with a transpose module here under pitch, we have transpose, right? So we can add this to the output one, two, three and four, right? And now we can transpose the pitch, the notes themselves and not the audio, right? So let's say the second tap here will be an octave up, which are 12 semitones. The third will be an octave down, which are minus 12. And then let's have here seven semitones up, right? And now it will sound like this. Right, so already it's more interesting. You remember that I had just a few notes in the original sequence with some probability, but now we get a whole different version, a whole different result here with the transposition. Now it's already quite interesting, but it's a bit too dense sometimes. So we can also add probability for each of the taps. So if we go here to random, we have the chance module. If I add this, right to the output of the gates, this will add probability if the notes will actually be triggered. 
Right, so for now, by default, it's set to 50%, which means that each tap has a 50% chance of actually playing. Right, so now it's much less dense. And again, this is only affecting the notes and not the audio, so we can still manipulate the audio without affecting this delay setup. Right, we are processing the notes and not the audio. We can also add individual modulation to each voice, right? We have now one, two, three, four, five voices of polyphony, let's say, and we can add modulation individually via, for example, the velocity output. And you can choose any modulation you like. In my case, I will use the dice module, so random modulation. Right, I will just add this here for each of the taps, maybe also for the for the original audio here, right, to add also more modulation. And then we just need to trigger it. Right, I will use it directly from the original triggers, not the probability ones. Right, and now this will go, if I zoom in a bit, this will go to the velocity output. And I will show you this also in a second. I have velocity here, I'm using the expressions modulator here, and I have velocity, as you can see, set to the filter and to the envelope a bit. Right, and again, this will be now per voice. Right, and of course, we can also still add audio effects. Right, so here I have some delay, and this will be on the audio itself, and some reverb. Let me quickly show you the final result. So this is how it looks like. Again, we have the four taps, the four delay taps, and here we have the original notes. Again, there is probability, right? There is transposition, we can transpose, there is the random modulation. Just in this case, I created a sort of, a, like I showed you before, a sort of an interface, if you will, per tap. So we have time, probability, transpose. Let me already, already play this. Right, and add some probability per tap, right, let's say 70, 50, right, and again we can transpose this, so this can be an octave up, this can be an octave down, let's say this one will be now 7 semitones up, right, and again we can change the delay times a bit, make this slower, make this quicker, right, and add also this random modulation, right, for the velocity, Right, so again, we have the four taps. Per tap, we have various controls. Of course, you can add more taps. You can add more controls if you want more variation. Right, but let, let me add a few more voices uh, here for context. I have here a kick, a pad, right, a bass, mostly with the bit -week devices and some hi-hats. a bit more up. Right, so you can really create lots and lots of movement with this setup. Right, and process notes and not audio. And um, but that was it. Thanks again for watching. Come join us on Patreon and Discord. Cheers.